What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, I wanted to talk to you about investing, specifically Fidelity. I wanted to go through the platform because a lot of people ask me questions on the platform, like what, what do you do when you wanna trade? Where do you go when you wanna do this and that and this and that? And I really wanna answer these questions. So the way that I'm gonna answer it is I'm gonna go through a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the different areas of Fidelity and hopefully that helps you in the long run, seriously, because what I plan to do is just give you a one to five part series. I really don't know how many parts, but once I do get all of those together, um, I will be completely happy and hopefully I'll be able to give you the value that you know you really wanted to see. So again, thank you for you know stopping by for watching this video, but let's get into the reason why you're here. Before I do start, I do want to remind you that I do a giveaway every single week, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to hear all about that giveaway. Um, hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already um, and comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video, but let's go ahead and get into it. So the first place that I wanted to go through was the research area. And hopefully you can see me well. Um, I'm trying to navigate this screen over here while also being able to talk to this camera and look at the screen as well. So it's going to be a very tough transition, you know, from here to there to there. So, you know, bear with me here. But um, Fidelity. I wanted to talk about the research area. This is where I wanted to start. And the reason I wanted to start here is because a lot of people use this area. Some people use it the wrong way. I use it all the time. And I want to start with this area because it's very important. Research is so important when it comes to stocks, when it comes to investing in general. So um, in these areas that I go through, I'm going to go through a, a few of the, the selections. So if I go into research, you're going to see that there are a ton of selections here. And I'm going to go through a few of them. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them because it's just a lot to, to deal with. But I am going to go through some of them and tell you, you know, why I use them, why they're important, things like that. So hopefully this is valuable to you. But let's go ahead and get into it. I may have wasted a ton of time in the beginning of this video. So I might put a timestamp to get to this point. But let's start with news. News is very important. When you think of news, you have a ton of information here. You can basically get the news of any stock that you're trying to invest into and see exactly why the stock price is going up or down. And obviously it's not exactly because news doesn't control 100% of the, the stock's movement and price, but you can get a lot of stuff that a lot of people look at. So if you're looking at Facebook, you know, you can get information on Facebook here and top headlines. If you're looking for, you know, things on the uh, U S market, you can get something there. So there's a lot of stuff that you can look up here. And I don't really use this area too much um, just because I don't focus on the news when I trade. I'm more of a day trader based on what's actually happening in the charts rather than what's happening in the news because I feel like, yeah, news news um, affects things based on people's reactions. Um, and I don't really want to predict anybody's reactions. But let's not get into my whole strategy here. So news is a really good area to be able to get articles that you know you want to see on the companies that you're investing in. It's very simple um, and hopefully it can help you out. Um, but like I said, I don't really use it that much, but it can give you a lot of information that you want and that can be very valuable at times. Now, if we go into the next place, we're gonna see watch list. Um, watch list is very important because you can have a ton of stocks on here that you want to watch and a lot of people will create new watch lists every day. I created new watch lists every day to where I picked basically three stocks in the end and was able to trade with those three stocks. Most likely I'll find a way to trade with one or two and try and hit my profit target. But um, the point is, is that you can put as many as you want on this watch list and you can basically say, I want to look at Facebook. I want to look at AT&T and then, you know, go from there. And they give you all the information that you really want to see. And this is very easy to use. I mean, you can just look at the gain loss today. You can look at simple and basic ways um, to analyze your stocks that you have on your watch list. So if I look at my watch list every time and I go back, I'm at the basic view. Um, if I look at my watch list every time, I'm going to say, you know what, what's moving up, what's moving down? Um, what do I really want to focus on for today? What do I want to focus on for the month? Where do I want certain stocks to be and that's what you want you want to build these watch lists all the time you know every day if you can if you plan on investing every day if you're more of a swing trader or a long-term trader then you can you know build your watch list whenever you really want to but watch lists are a key part 
of investing. It seriously is, and this is why I'm going over it because it's so key. The next part that I want to look at is alerts. Now, I skipped quotes. Um, that's not really too difficult to understand, but um, alerts. This is a place to where I want to basically get a trigger price, and when I get those trigger prices, I can basically say, hey, invest me in this stock at this moment. So if I type in FB for Facebook, click on anywhere I want, it's going to say 218. Now I'm going to say, oh, is that is that price reasonable after you do your research? And then you go in here and you just say, um, if the stock drops below a certain amount, um, below 200, then, you know, buy it. Like that's what I'll do. And it'll always send me those alerts via you know text message, via um, email, things like that. And these are essential because if you want to invest long-term, this really helps you out because then you can invest at a certain spot at its low and then get out at its high. And it, it makes it easy for you as long as you know how to get out. The next area that we're going to look at is mutual funds. So mutual funds is a huge piece as well. You can actually go in there and see exactly what fund you want to invest your money in. You can narrow things down and have a huge mutual fund filter. Um, you can just click see results right here and see the 3,500, yeah, 3,535 matching funds. And you can invest in any fund you want. So um, this is what I really like, to be able to have that customizable um filterable um, data set, I guess. And, you know, just be able to see everything right in front of you and invest in what you want to invest as long as you narrow it down to wherever you want to narrow it down. So over to the left, you're going to have this whole, like, you know, refine your search area to where you can actually select a lot of things to, to narrow down the funds, different fund types, things like that. So I love this area. Um, I don't invest in mutual funds often on fidelity but you know they do have this section if you wanted to invest in mutual funds have more of the safe investments then you could do that but this whole area is dedicated towards mutual funds the next area that i wanted to talk about was stocks stocks are huge obviously you want to be able to do your stock research and i use this a lot the way that i use this is i use the stock screener here so the stock screener will basically give me everything that i want to see in my in my screen so what i can do is pick my different filters pick my different uh, preferences and say what i want to look at for my watch list and then i'll be able to see those stocks whether it's like a top gaining stock whether it's something that was up in 52 weeks or, and down in you know today something like that then you can look that stuff up and always have that set so then they'll give you all of the stocks that fit that criteria so it's very um, simple to use and a lot of times I go into here and I just go my screens and I'll just go, let's say, just say uh, day trading research. You'll be able to get all of your different information here and look at, you know, 52 weeks versus five, five days. If I wanted to look at the stock and make sure that it's up for um, 52 weeks, but then in, in four weeks and five um, days, it's been down, then that's something that I want to look at. And I'm basically saying that the stock has been up, but now it's starting to be on a downtrend. So that's something that you want to look at and be able to have your own strategy. But there's every there's different strategies for everybody. Some people develop the same strategy when it comes to the overall, you know, huge strategies, whether it's like head and shoulders or something like that. Um, but you can develop your own strategy here and be able to build your own screen uh, screener. And that's amazing. So with this, you can obviously customize your screens, build anything you want based on, you know, the criteria over to the left and then, you know, pick whatever stocks you want. And that's absolutely amazing. That's why I love this area, um, just going into different stocks and being able to pick by, you know, sector, if you wanted to look at it by sector, if you wanted to look at it by, you know, market cap. So if you click on mega cap, then you could see all the mega cap stocks. So this is something that I love to use. I absolutely love to use it and you should try and develop it. If you are looking to get into Fidelity, this is definitely one of it. So let's get into the different areas. Um, or the next area here so I don't spend too much time on this video. But um, remember, there are gonna be different parts where I go over different sections. So right now is news and research. But let's get into the next piece, which is options. So options are huge. I'm not an options trader. Um, uh, people close to me, I'm not gonna say who they are, I was about to, but people close to me 
um, do option trading. And it's a really good way, you know, to make money. It's a really good um, way to invest. Um, but I just don't see the huge value out of that when it comes to, you know, taking the time out of, you know, getting that investment. So I don't like to be invested in something for a long period of time because if I am, then it has higher risk. It has a, a high risk of, you know, going the opposite way. And I don't like that. But if you want to do all your options trading, you can do all of your options trading um, and select different um, stocks and it'll tell you what, you know, the strike price is and all different types of options that they have here. So um, that's just something to look at. I don't really have a lot of information on it because I don't use it often, but it is here. So the next place we want to check out is IPOs. IPOs are huge. The reason why IPOs are huge, and I keep saying that about different areas, I feel like the news and research is huge in general. So IPOs are huge because a lot of people like to know when companies are going to basically do their initial public offering to where, you know, those companies are going to say, you know, my stock is publicly traded and this is what price is going to be. And you never know exactly how it's going to go. Some, you know, skyrocket and some completely flop with that price. So they say don't invest in IPOs, but if you have a history in investing in IPOs and have success, go for it. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold it against you. So you have all types of information here. Um, whatever the company name is, um, the expected price date, the expected price range, things like that. And you can check out different companies. Um, the last time I looked at this was earlier today, actually, and there were three companies. So I, I don't know where they went, but I didn't, you know, write them down or anything, but I really don't do, um, IPOs. I did do it a couple of times and had mediocre success, but I'm not in it for the long haul. So that's something that, um, you want to do is you want to be in it for the long haul. If somebody has an IPO, you want to see how they're moving right from the start. And if you have it tanking a lot, then you might want to invest in it when it hits its low. But if it's just completely tanking and you don't see any promise in going up, then, you know, you want to go the opposite way. You want to leave it alone. So the last area that I wanted to get into was the learning center. Learning is, let's say key. <laughs> That's like the 700th time I use that, but it is key because learning anything is the best thing you could possibly do. You can type in things that you don't know about. Like if I wanted to type in options, um, I can type in options and I'll get everything for options. It'll say learn about options trading. And here we go. So then they have a introduction to options video. So if you don't know about options, you can type that in, get a video and go from there. And I think it's absolutely huge to be able to get something like that and get started, know the basics and make it easy on your life. Um, I really like the fact that, you know, they have all this information here so that you can learn as much as possible because, you know, when you have knowledge, knowledge is power. I've heard that from multiple areas different places and um, knowledge is power. Seriously, if you know something then you could teach other people, you could also um, find a way to make money out of it. You can also find a way to make friends out of it. Knowledge is so amazing. So if you don't know about investing, you know, sign up for Fidelity. You don't have to put anything in the account right away. And, you know, overall you can trade for free and things like that. I love Fidelity, even though you have, you know, giants that are basically fighting over market share. Fidelity is a great alternative to those. And it's not anything that you're sacrificing because you're getting a really good platform. And obviously you'll see more of the platform as this goes along. But that's my video, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you um, enjoyed this part. But this part, this is part one. I'll come out with part two probably next week. And if you want to see that, make sure you hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on it. You want to be notified exactly when I upload that video. If you're into fidelity videos, if you're into investing videos, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to try and do an investing video every single week since I've been kind of slacking on investing videos. So um, thank you for all the people who have um, kind of invested in my channel. Um, basically saying that they came from the investing videos that I did in the past because those got a lot of views but I didn't follow up on them because they didn't get views from the beginning. And I'm, I'm sorry that I did that. So make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to watch the next video part two. Um, but 
thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Remember that I do a podcast in this area. Um, if you want to see that podcast, it'll be up in the cards. Also, I'll link down in the description to my Clips channel. Subscribe to that. My wife and I go over a bunch of things, so check it out. Um, also, I do a giveaway. Make sure you enter that giveaway. The way that you do that is you comment down below. You hit the like button down below, and then you be subscribed to my channel, and you'll have one ticket in the hat. If you want multiple tickets, then when I post a video you know, the next day, then make sure you comment and like on that. I do the giveaway every Saturday, so Monday through Friday, if you enter the giveaway, you'll have five tickets in the hat. That's the max, so do that if you want to win a $10 gift card. They're you know, out there for free. Seriously, I mean, obviously, you have to comment, like, and be subscribed, but technically, they're out there for free. You can do it as much as you want, and there are people that have won three times already, so Make sure you put your name in the hat. This is not a scam. I'm just giving away gift cards because I really appreciate everybody that comes through my channel. But that's my video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. But I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.